What's up everybody, welcome back. Today we are taking a look at some more amazing fades. And today's jeans are the naked and famous Ken Shoryuken Selvage. This pair comes from the Redditor Ship Resident 5963, and he also has an awesome Instagram page that I will link in the description below. He has some amazing photography on there, so take a look at that as well. So these jeans are 12 and a half ounce stretch Japanese denim, and the interior weft yarn is dyed a deep red to match the color of Ken's Gi from Street Fighter 2. And according to Naked and Famous, and from these photos that you can see, the uh, yarn itself is extremely slubby, heavy textured, and that was to reflect the toughness of Ken, the character. And these jeans are loaded with cool little details like the Hadouken fireball on the right rear pocket, uh, screen printing on the interior pocket bags, and an amazing veg tan leather patch on the back with a super cool uh, picture of Ken performing the hurricane kick. I am not going to attempt to pronounce that in Japanese. I kept you again. I probably should have left it alone. These jeans have been worn pretty much constantly for two years and have only been washed once. And as you guys can see, it has produced some ridiculously beautiful fades. On the front, you can see all of the contrast blue coming through as well as the red weft yarn coming through underneath that to create almost this like purpley haze. And on the back of the jeans, you can see some amazing high contrast whiskering and honeycombing along the back of the knees. Uh, you can see where his wallet is sat and worn through that back pocket. And you can also see a repair that was done to the crotch area of the left leg down below. Um, and that, that red from the weft yarn is just coming through like crazy. And on that incredible veg tan leather patch, you can see that the paint has come off of that, leaving really just the outline of Ken performing that hurricane kick. Uh, it looks ridiculously cool. And from these close-ups, you can see not only that honeycombing on the back of the leg, but just how, uh, how much of that uneven yarn weaving is coming through, leaving those amazing vertical stripes, that heavy slubbing texture. Uh, these things just look like they're, they're three-dimensional even in these photos. And brand new, you can see that these jeans were amazingly beautiful. Uh, that red was already coming through just because of how heavily it was dyed. And the jeans, again, they almost had this like purplish hue to them, but uh, through all of that constant wear and the, you know, the, the loss of the indigo off of the top layer of the jeans, all of this character and texture has come through and just created something really unique in the world of denim. And I think that's one of the things that Naked and Famous does as good, if not better than anybody else, is just really creating these unique types of colorations and fades that you just don't see on any other jeans that come from any other manufacturer. Not only the Street Fighter collection that featured tons of different characters and color combinations, but I mean, we've had things here recently uh, like the Freddy Krueger jeans, the Matrix jeans. Uh, they just, they find ways to really take inspiration from pop culture and what's relevant now to create something that's going to be lasting and wearable for a long period of time. Now these jeans were released as a special edition pair back in 2018 so as you would expect they are sold out everywhere. I uh, could not find any pairs available anywhere not on eBay either at the time of making this video uh, but I have in the past seen a pair or two pop up now and again uh, kind of in random sizes and never in mine. But if you do see these jeans pop up, I would highly suggest uh, that you uh, seriously consider buying them, especially if they are in new condition. And again, it just goes to show you that if you want a really unique pair of jeans uh, that no one else is going to have, I mean, Naked and Famous is probably the best place to start looking for those. Drop down in that comment box below and let me know, did you buy these jeans when they were available? And if not, why? What, what kept you from purchasing them? 
I know for me, as much as I love seeing them, if I had been into Rod Denim back in 2018 the way I am now, I still don't know if I would have bit the bullet on these jeans just because they are so different. It really makes me reconsider that thought process and I will definitely be keeping a closer eye on these special edition releases because I would love to have a pair of jeans that look like this now. All right, that's it for today. Like this video if you enjoyed this type of content. Um, I'm really enjoying making videos about these amazing fades and I think that you guys out there are enjoying them too. I hope you have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Bye.